ready to continue on doing what you're doing. And um, I'm, I'm excited about this week, excited about consecration, excited what it means for our church. And, and um, I hope you woke up feeling the same way this morning, refreshed, renewed, ready to go. And um, that, that's my prayer for you this morning. And if you didn't wake up feeling refreshed, renewed, and ready to go, full of excitement, and maybe you woke up with a different kind of attitude this morning, one that might be, um, well, um, yeah, I tried this consecration week and I'm meaner than I've ever been, or I'm, you know, I tried to not partake of this activity or this food that I said I wasn't going to do, and I did, so I blew it, so why even bother going on right now? And, or maybe you just were like, I'm just feeling really blah. Maybe you're feeling blah, like maybe the, this isn't for you. And, and this is for something for the, the pastors and for the people who like to pray. It's for those people. And I just want to encourage you that it is for you. It is for you. I encourage you to keep on keeping on, encouraging you that God is hearing you as you reach out to him and you set aside. And, and just to encourage you also that however you feel that you've blown it, You've not blown it so bad that you cannot get back up and start fresh again. Or maybe you haven't even started yet and you're thinking, well, it's already started. I'll try next year. Not too late. Jump in. It's never too late. Jump in with this. Join this church. Do it. Do whatever fast that the Lord calls you to do. And and um, don't let any circumstances or any setback derail you or keep you from joining in this week. Because let me tell you, there are all kinds of reasons not to fast. And believe me, I, I've used them all. I've used them all. I mean, I was supposed to fast with a girlfriend this past year over a situation. And I said, well, you know, can we do it another time? Because this week I have a lot of events going on and, and I really don't want to fast and just be a lot of food involved. And so, so I get it. There's all kinds of reasons not to do it, but I encourage you to join with the church in whatever fast you've called yourself to join with us this week and you will not be disappointed. You will not be disappointed. It is a great time of uh, just getting closer with the Lord, consecrating yourself to Him. And, and you don't want to miss this. You don't want to miss what the church is doing. You want to just jump on in. And so I encourage you to keep on keeping on. Now in Matthew chapter 6, we have three things here. We have in verse 3, when you give. We have in verse 7, when you pray. And we have in verse 16, when you fast when you fast. These three things are done privately, the scripture tells us. They're done privately. When you pray, the Bible says, don't let your, your um, left hand know what your right hand is doing privately. When you pray, the Bible says, don't go on and on and on. Don't pray out in the public street corners. No, 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 no. It says, it says that we're supposed to get alone by ourselves. Shut the door. Get alone and pray to your Father in private. And then again in verse 16, when you fast, don't make it obvious. Don't make it obvious. Don't be all miserable, the word says. It says, no, it says, wash your face, comb your hair. Then no one is going to notice that you're doing it except your Father in heaven. No one's going to notice. No one needs to notice because it's done privately except the Father in heaven. He's the one who knows what you're doing privately. He's the one who knows. So go off by yourself and do these private things, the private things that no one knows about. Do this fast and maybe no one in your family, maybe that person that you're praying for and believing for doesn't even know that you're fasting and praying for them right now. It's okay because the Father does. So keep on keeping on. Victories, uh, Judson Franklin says in his fasting book, says victories are not won in public, but in private. Victories don't come by doing things publicly. They come privately. And as you, as you give and as you pray and as you fast, these are private things that we do. And that's when the victory comes. And so whether you need um, a closer walk with the Lord this week and you're looking for that in the year 2021, or you need a breakthrough in your life, this is what the fasting is all about. Fasting is a secret source of power that's available to you. 
It's available to you. Your God is listening to you. So let me just pray for you. Father, thank you. Thank you for my friend here who's who's just setting aside this food, this activity, whatever it is this person has set aside. And I pray that you would meet them where they're at, Father God. You would meet them in their prayer time. You would show them great and mighty things, Father God, that they have no idea that, God, they'd be filled to the fullness of you, Father. And so we give this week to you. We give this time to you, Father God. In Jesus' name, amen. Keep on keeping on, church. You can do it. Bye-bye.